The town of Hobson City is working to find a solution to an ongoing zip code issue that has residents concerned about the future of their town. It's the smallest city with about 800 residents. Like other small towns, Hobson City oftentimes gets mistaken for another town through mail and GPS navigations. Although this has been an issue for quite some time, Hobson City Mayor Alberta McCrory says she was recently mistaken for the mayor of Anniston at a conference in Kansas City simply due to the fact that the two municipalities have the same zip code. Residents within the town often receive delayed mail or mail with an Anniston address, and Mayor McCrory says the town has been trying to get its own zip code for more than 30 years in an effort to eliminate several issues, including the town's mistaken identity. I know what the post uh, office is saying is that, you know, the zip code is for the efficient delivery of mail, but they, everybody knows that that zip code does more than efficiently des deliver your mail is used by all different agencies for different purposes in terms of generating information about people and uh, the dif different demographics and all that stuff. We don't know how much money we lose uh, in terms of not just the sales use taxes, but other things, other taxes that are uh, associated with the zip code. Mayor McCrory says people also have trouble receiving business licenses at, within the area, and residents fear that Hobson City could lose its name to Anniston or Oxford if the town is not given an opportunity to thrive. With all of this technology and knowledge that we have, surely there is something that can be done that identifies this town as the town of Hobson City and give us a zip code. We just need a zip code for our purposes here if we are going to um, be able to sustain ourselves. Municipalities are allowed to apply for a zip code only once every 10 years. Mayor McCrory says they applied for a change back in 2009 and they reapplied earlier this year.